Hey guys, welcome back to Barbie's Dream House. It's Jazz Hands, and we're going to be doing something a little different today because I did one before and people seem to like it, so I'm going to do it again because I know YouTube in general likes them, but I'm going to do an unboxing video. And not only is it an unboxing video, it's a mod Barbie unboxing video, which you guys are aware is not my particular favorite. So a couple reasons why we're here and why this is happening. Number one, this set was cheap. I got it on Walmart for almost half off the $80 price tag. It was a little bit more, but I was like, well, that's all right. Um, I wanted a black Barbie. This is Christy, who debuted in the eh, mid-60s. It was the very first black Barbie doll that was available in Barbie size, and I want one not just because of representation but because I like how she looks in some of the fashions and I do want my channel to be a little less white 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 um, the second is that uh, it does come with a few mod fashions which I thought we could look at and this these this would give me a couple mod dolls that I could put some mod fashions on I know that you guys like them I'm not the, I'm not a big fan of them and I'm gonna do a direct comparison video to show why and why that particular style isn't it but I personally Maybe I'm coming around with it. They look really good. These particular d dolls, uh, I think, look pretty good. Just looking at them in the small amount that I have so far, uh, the this like I've seen a lot of negative reviews of this set online, and I can kind of see where they're coming from with it. But as somebody who doesn't like mod anyway, I mean, I think they look pretty good, and I even like some of the stuff that's in it. So without further ado, let's start. Re let's read everything on the box, and then open it up and get the dolls out and take a look at them. Um, in my initial like little overview of what's happening here uh christy or barbie has a little stray eyelash that's a big no-no the eyelashes were very uh i know that they were very set and they almost never seem to move um the hairstyle is not quite right on christy christy had more of a bouffant bubble cut and in in vintage ones you can actually see that they are oxidizing red now so a vintage one that actually still has brunette hair is worth a lot of money and then Stacy over here I think it's Stacy yeah Stacy I'm right okay Stacy over here um, she looks a little wonky looking off in a different directions with her eyeballs but again not too upset about it oh and Barbie's eyes one's like off to the side and one's kind of centered which is wonky also I can also see some of the stitching here some of the stitching up here and eh, whatever I mean it's not the greatest set I think it looks good for what it is and uh, it's got some really groovy artwork on the side here and then we can check the back which says Barbie mod friends gift set Barbie and her gal pals Christy and Stacy formed their lifelong friendship in 1968 Stacy the mod friend from across the pond sports a smashing casual look Christy has her own groovy style with a bright pop of tangerine. Barbie wears a flower power print for a look that's totally hip. The Mod Friends gift set celebrates 50 years of friendship and brings back memories from an iconic fashion era. As their feature TV commercial stated, friends are the best thing in the world. And we've got a really great graphic on here of Barbie, Stacy, and Christy. I love it. And then a sticker saying no more than 6,700 worldwide. And you got questions or need assistance, go to Barbie.com. Bottom has all that, you know, legalese, blah, blah, blah. We don't care about any of that. But uh, yeah, so love the logo in the corner showing you exactly what it is. And again, mod graphic design. Love it. Looks pretty good inside the case. Let's go ahead and uh, open the top, which has no tape whatsoever. No tape, just pop it open and slide them out, I guess. They do make these collector friendly nowadays where you can slide them out and look at them without having to destroy the box, which I guess is good. I'm not a big fan of it personally because then you don't know if you're actually buying one that's never been removed from its packaging because it's so easy to take them out, but whatever. People do seem to like it a lot, so if they like it, who am I to stop them from enjoying themselves? Oh, uh, tons of tape, tons of stuff, and a card. I don't collect these cards at all. I usually toss them first chance I can get because I don't care about that particular aspect of the dolls. Stands, we'll take the stands out first, and then we'll work on freeing the dolls from their confinement, I guess. Forgot. I can't wear gloves when I do this because the stickiness gets in the gloves and then it starts affecting my vintage fashions when I wear them. Completely forgot about that. And face plant the doll. That's what they were looking forward to. They're like, hurrah, someone's taking us out. 
plant, face plant. I wonder if these are gonna have different uh, names. Nah, no, they don't. They just say Barbie on all of them. I thought it'd be pretty neat if one of them said Fran uh, one of them said Stacy, and one said Christy. But you know, it was cheaper this way. I'm sure. <laughs> it is really, really hot in my condo. But we're gonna persevere and start cutting whenever, wherever I can. Like I can't even get it. I can't even get anything up here. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy seeing things get unboxed. I think it's just so suspenseful. So yeah, let's talk about mod dolls and mod stuff. Mod is a very casual look, and if you are my grandparents, then it was the beginning of the end for uh, Western civilization, where it all went wrong. They said. I mean, if you consider, you know, the civil rights movement all going to the end, then I guess you're right, but I don't consider it. Um, the style is, like, I'm going to do a comparison with uh, some of the other outfits from previous videos in this one to show, like, why the particular style of mod is not my thing. I mean, it looks cool, but... And it's not like I would actually ever wear any of these things. Being a boy, I would not. Well, that didn't do anything. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing from the other side. Let's see if we're making any leeway here. Yeah, a little bit. Shoes, kicky shoes, almost free there. We almost got Stacy out, so we'll just keep working on her, I guess. Do you guys have a favorite Barbie or Barbie fashion? I don't hear too much. I hear a lot of comments about uh, what I'm doing, and I like that. But I'm interested in hearing what your particular favorites are. I mean, if you don't know, then that's okay. I, I like. I think some 80s stuff. Like I, I watch Mandy Rounds a lot. She's one of my favorite YouTubers for her collections of Barbie stuff, and some of her stuff is just so cool. Like I'm really like I hated 80s and 90s Barbie. I thought that. Especially, as I've said before, compared to these vintage ones that I like to show off, there's just no comparison. But when I look at, like, the packaging and, like, her Astronaut Barbie video is just fantastic. Those Astronauts fashions are crazy and super fun to look at. So, I mean, I can... She's really starting to make me appreciate 80s Barbies. So maybe you have a uh, preference or a favorite Barbie, and I'd like to hear what it is. So please feel free to comment when you see my videos. Or maybe you don't like the fashions that I'm showing off for some reason. I mean, it's all fair game. I'm ex you're, it's an opinion. You have one, and I want to hear it. There's going to be a whole lot of cardboard in this video. Not very interesting at all. But we'll stand up the dolls as we get them out. All right, maybe we can get Stacy out now. Let's see. Pretty close. And, oh, uh, three in the back of the head. How, what a monstrous thing to do, Mattel. Stand by, cutting in progress. I mean, at least I can not cut the hair this time because they're all, like, right there. But still, not a fan of that. Not a fan at all. And then this thread here. There we go. She's free. We did it. We did it, guys. We got Stacy out. We're going to leave her shoes kind of tacked on at the moment. And we'll go ahead and get her stand up. Get a stand for her up. Maybe. If I can figure out the witchcraft involved with getting this thing set up. Alright. We got a hole here, and we got this piece right here. And it's got to fit somehow. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. I'm just an idiot. All right, so we got Stacy. She's got a couple tacks in her head, but we're not going to worry about that right now for our video. Looks pretty good up close. Got some hair gel on her actual cheek there to keep it in place, but whatever. Like I said, mod's not my big thing, so I'm not too mad about anything that happens with these dolls. So, hey, 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 I'm first out. LOL, guys. Of course, she wouldn't say that because she's from 1968, but that's okay. We won't tell anyone. 
All right, let me get rid of some of this garbage first and throw it to the ground with extreme prejudice. And <clears throat> toss to the ground. Next time I'll be smart and have my garbage can next to me. Hello, sweetheart. All right, let's get Christy out because I like Christy a lot and I want her out next. I've already got a billion Barbies. But what about Christy? Christy looks really good in orange, but she also looks great in red. And I do have some red outfits. And you won't see her very often in my videos, and that's mostly because she came out later and most of my stuff is early Barbies. But that doesn't mean you can't request her in a certain outfit, or it does also doesn't mean that I can't just put her in and sneak her in videos as it is. Because it's mo I think it's fair game, showing off what looks best for a particular doll. See if that was enough to release the outfit and dolls. Flip. Ready to come out there, Christy? Almost. Almost. Haha! -ha! Freedom. I can't keep Black Barbie down. Or Christy, that is. Black Barbie came out in the 80s. So instead of just being a secondary character. She actually was Barbie. So one thing I want to comment on is uh, so, uh, uh, there's another YouTube channel and they do like fashion videos. And one of the ones they did was they did vintage Barbie fashions and they put them on uh, Women Today. And it was like an advertisement for a channel that actually makes them for a business. And one of the things that the black model said was... I may not look like Barbie, but I feel fabulous like her. And that just breaks my heart that uh, somebody out there believes that they aren't as good as Barbie. Therefore, it's not the same thing. I mean, Barbie's for everyone. And if you don't look like her, it doesn't mean that you can't be fashionable like her or as great as her. So this, this outfit is a good example of what I don't like about late Mattel. It's like kind of like uh, plastic, actual shiny plastic, all of it, and she's got like shorts on underneath, but just this, like, I know plastic was a big thing in the 60s. It was space agey and it was new and exciting, but ugh. I mean, plenty of things are made in plastic nowadays, and the old outfits that are actually like clothes, those are so much more special. But that's all right. It was new and amazing in the 60s, and it's also, you know, really sturdy and didn't get dirty as much. There's Christy. She looks great, honestly. Um, I'm really pleased. Excuse me. I'm really pleased with her. I know that a lot of people don't like this set, but I think she looks pretty darn swinging right there. And last but not least, we got Barbie still in here. Let's see if we can just rip her out. Great hairstyle. Love it. That's a very uh, late 60s, early 70s look. I was watching a horror movie, uh, an Italian gelato or gialto movie, read something, and the, one of the actresses, it was made in 1972, I think, and the actresses just had the craziest hairstyles in it. I loved it. They were just like this. All right. Three old, big old marks in the back, but we're going to leave them because we can't help it. And she's got a little piece of plastic holding her hair in place. Also going to leave that. So we got this very, you know, I think it's called Flower Wower, maybe. I'm not sure. But it is very swinging 60s, very Flower Power-ish. Uh, she does have pink underwear on underneath, if you care to see that. And, yeah, uh, she actually looks pretty good, except for that one few stray uh, pieces of eyelashes there. But we can fix that with a little bit of a snip. And she looks good. I'm not, you know... Again, not too thrilled with uh, mod fashions, but honestly, they look really pretty, and they're very colorful, and if you guys like mod fashions and you want to see mod fashions, well, I can do mod fashions if it's not too expensive, which it usually is, but we will do the best we can in life. I'm uh, just putting the stand together here so we can put up this Barbie, and then we're going to do a quick comparison with some of the earlier s styles and fashions. And I guess maybe like this, put it underneath so she gets her full effect. There we go. 
and then we got them all kicking legs. They do. These were the first ones that had bendable legs on the twist and turn waist. And there we go. So we got our three mod friends all decked out and kitted out in their outfits. Tons of of trash. I think it'll be interesting to see, you know, in 50 years what these sets look like unopened and if they're still in amazing condition and if they warranted all this extra garbage that kept them locked in and kept me from making my YouTube video super easy. Sorry, move the microphone. And up and out. Onto the floor with the other trash. All right. So we got our three dolls there, and now let's put out some earlier examples and do a direct comparison. This is 1959 with Midge. Um, I read somewhere that Stacy or Casey or PJ or whoever had the exact same face as Midge, but it was painted up, you know, to look more mod. And I mean, it might be true. I can't really tell from these two dolls. I'll put them closer together in a minute if you want to see, and we can maybe kind of look at that, but it's not really a very fair comparison because the two dolls on the right and whoa, so sorry. This one on the right are vintage and the others are all reproduction. Readjust. So here we are. We've got three reproduction dolls, three reproduction outfits, two vintage dolls with two vintage style one's vintage and one is a reproduction but what we're really looking at here is the differences in fashions from 1962 ish all the way up to 1968 in just six years time and from and in this one about nine years time or almost 10 years we went from this you know more conservative and uh more classic style onto something extremely modern and different, which is how fashion tends to go. It tends to swing in different directions. It went it went way higher on the on the uh, on the lengths. We went way more colorful, different styles with pants and uh, tops. Um, I mean, I just prefer this particular style. That's my particular taste. This looks great though. I like all three of them. I think they look pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna show them off in more videos later, probably wearing different outfits if you guys are keen to see it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. I hope you liked the comparison between the old dolls and the new, and I hope you liked seeing an unboxing video from me. So until next time, this is Jazz Hands.